Hello, it is nice to see you again. Today we're going to start lesson number three. How are you, by the way? I hope you are doing great. Remember to write the title of the lesson, which is different skills, and also the date. Today is June the 5th. Yes, it is June already. Remember, before we start the class, you need your notebook, your dictionary, your mobile phone, and also very important is to have your book. Okay, without further ado, let's get into this lesson. The objective of the class is to identify different skills and disabilities. Remember that it's very, very important that you know what you're going to learn in a lesson, so please write the objective in your notebook. You will find the information and contents in pages 14, 15, 16, and 17 from your book. Do you know what disability is? Hmm, sounds familiar. Let's have a look at these images. Do you know anyone with these disabilities? All of these are disabilities. In the first picture, we see a man who is working uh, on a wheelchair. Then we see a guy that probably has an intellectual disability and a woman that is using a uh, sign language. Disability is any condition that makes it more difficult for a person to do certain activities or interact with the world around them. There are different disabilities, for example, deafness, hard of hearing, vision impairment, intellectual disability, physical disability, speech disorder, and blindness. Remember to take note of this. Blindness is the state or condition of being unable to see because of injury, disease, or a cognitional condition. I'm sorry, a congenital condition. I misread the information. So here we have a picture of uh, blindness. Vision impairment may be caused by a loss of visual acuity where the eye does not see objects as clearly as usual. So this is that uh, what represents the vision impairment. So it's kind of a mm, kind of a loss, not completely. You can still see but not as clearly as you should. Intellectual disability is a disability characterized by significant limitations both in intellectual functioning, whether it is reasoning, learning, problem solving, and in adaptive behavior. Here is a clear example of an intellectual disability. A physical disability is a limitation on a person's physical functioning, mobility, dexterity, or stamina. For example, this woman that's on a wheelchair. Hard of hearing refers to people who still have some useful hearing and can understand spoken language in some situations, with or without amplification. Most HOH people can use the phone and use hearing aids, so these people can still hear a little bit, but not completely well as they should. A speech disorder is a condition in which a person has problems creating or forming the speech sounds needed to communicate with others. There's an example of speech disorder. Deafness 
is defined as a degree of loss such that a person is unable to understand speech even in the presence of amplification. So you cannot hear anything, you cannot understand anything. And that's an example. There are different jobs that employ people with disabilities and there is a law in Chile about it. The Chilean Labor Inclusion Law indicates that 1% out of 100 workers in a company should be people with disabilities. There are different jobs that a person with disabilities could do. For example, personal assistant, teacher, hairdresser, cashier. And there are different companies that employ young people with disabilities around the world. Some of these companies are Starbucks, Singtel, United Overseas Bank, and now let's read some job experiences. She's Wendy and she's blind. She wants to tell you her story. Wendy says, hello, my name is Wendy. I am 30. I am blind. I worked at Starbucks and my experience there was amazing. I didn't have any problems because of my blindness. Most of the people respected me for who I am. I am proud of being myself. So that's the story of Wendy. She didn't have she didn't have any issue uh, working at Starbucks. I wish I could be there to order a uh, cinnamon dolce latte, which is my favorite drink. Next one. He's Peter and he's deaf. He wrote this story for you. Hi, my name is Peter. I am 42. I am deaf, but my deafness is not a problem to me. Some people believe that I can hear because I am very good at my job, but hearing is not everything in life. There are other ways to communicate such as sign language. You see, having a disability is not a problem. Let's study the next words. Deafness, deaf, blindness, blind, hear, hearing. Deaf is an adjective. For example, I met a girl last night and I had to use sign language to communicate because she was deaf. Deafness is a noun. For example, I know what deafness is because my mom is deaf. Blind is an adjective. For example, my mom is blind. She can't see anything. So the word blind is uh, giving characteristics to whom? To my mom. I'm saying that my mom is blind. Blindness is a noun. For example, my mom's blindness is terrible. She can't see anything. So I'm talking about my mom's blindness. That is a terrible thing because she cannot see anything. Here is a verb. For example, I can hear you. Speak up. Hearing is a noun. For example, his hearing begins to deteriorate. It's time to complete some activities on your mobile phone or computer. Follow these instructions. Open your book in the page 16 or download the document from Google Drive. Reading activity. You're going to access book widgets and use this code to answer. I'm gonna leave you guys the link in the description so you just click and go straight to the activity. Or if you wish, you can scan the QR code however you want. It's important that you read the text and if you, if you have questions, please contact me. 
And remember, when you finish, you have to click submit and write your full name, email, and teacher email. Which, for this matter, and only for this matter of the app, you are going to use the email teacher diego.sandoval at gmail.com. Because if you have questions or you need to talk to me, you have to contact me with my jobs email, which is diego.sandoval at cpph.cl. And that pretty much it. So until next week, have a nice, beautiful, wonderful weekend.